looking very determined. He definitely is. He's got uh, just under a kilometre to go now, or around about a kilometre to run. And mentioning mentioning Pat as you were early, Sandy, I think it's uh, fair to add here that Robert draws a lot of strength from Pat. He has a lot of confidence in Pat, and he was very pleased that Pat was able to come away and be on this trip with him, as Pat was when he was in Rotterdam. He said it really helps to know over those last few days that, you know, Pat's there and Pat's always very reassuring. And if Robert believes in anyone's advice, he believes in Pat's. So, only a minute or so away now from Robert leading this group of 82 runners who started in the marathon through the tunnel, back into the main stadium. It's just on the outskirts of the stadium now. We've got another steep hill going up into the stadium with about 600 metres to go. Yes, he's just past the 800 metre mark. There's our shot from up top. 700 metres to finish, and uh, Belcher's still not in sight, so he's got a commanding lead, and it was it's those be, hills. It's going to be a very good time too, Sandy, when we look at the... Consider the, the first half. That's correct. The first half uh, was only uh, one hour and seven, if I remember correctly, which is double that, is uh, 2.14, so he's come home an awful lot faster than he, than he went out at. Here's that steep hill that we were talking about. So quite a steep climb to get up to the stadium. And not a welcome one by the marathon athletes. No, you can see he's working hard there. My word he is. The choppers overhead. It's a very good time considering that first half. 2.08.43 at the moment. crowd very quiet at the moment 400 meters to the finish he's going to be entering the stage in fact here comes Pat Lahesse now Pat come here and join us because he's coming into the stadium come here Pat let's have that microphone how are you feeling oh fantastic a tremendous performance again we're really thrilled here he comes on you go Fantastic. It was a very fast second half of the race. Yes, it went pretty well as planned. I'm not sure when he hit the front, but we think it was around a bit after 35k, wasn't it? Right. Oh, Tremendous run. We're really thrilled. Do you think he would run so fast, given that they, they went out at about 2.14 pace? Well, he certainly come home very, very fast, but uh, this is typical of what he did in Rotterdam, too. He'll break uh, 2.10. Uh, but anyway, that's not the point. The point is winning the uh, World Championship, which is fantastic as far as we're concerned. Well, here he comes back to a standing ovation. The World Champion, Romney Costello. Gaylene is absolutely delighted. Well, she may. So too, Coach Pat Lassie. The World Champion crosses the line in a time of 210, 210.02, I think. We'll wait and see officially. What a magnificent performance. Belcher is coming down the 100 metres straight now. He's going to get second place. But Di Costello, the undisputed champion of the world. Belcher receiving a fine ovation. He's going to cross the line in the second spot. Great tussle for the Broms. No, the season, Swede, just unable to sprint at the finish. Wagner Sierpinski is going to take third. 